have some sing-alongs here tonight too. And uh, I noticed that Kay just came in. She was uh, she's late. She was modeling in a rummage sale down at the beach center. <laughs> She's down the beach uh, volunteer group down there, and I think they had a rummage sale down there, didn't you? How, how much? How many clothes did you model? Okay, would you please stand up? Well, it's good to have good to have you here. I last year I was talking about how many things have happened up here at Metal Art. You, you are fantastic. You got you got a bar, you've got a movie theater, you've got your own doctor. And they told me that there's a new addition going on right over here northeast, and it's a maternity ward. <laughs> the sign out there is sponsored by the Optimist Club of Manhattan. <laughs> so you know, Metal Ark is really, really something. You're, you're making all the papers. And there was a guy, I, I love to come up here and listen to people talk, you know, I meet people and see them. There was two older guys talking over here and they were having coffee and and they were kind of doing this, you know, and, and the one guy says, he said, hey, how's your sex life? And the guy says, well, he says, you know, I have sex almost every day. And the guy says, what? Almost every day? He says, yeah, almost on Monday, almost on Wednesday, almost on Wednesday. <laughs> Almost every day. And then the other guy said, you know, he was talking about the secret to a good marriage. And the guy said, well, you know, you got to do something special every, you know, 25th anniversary or 50th. He's, the guy said, well, what'd you do? And he said, well, on my 25th anniversary, I took my wife to Sweden. And he said, now we've got our 50th coming up. And the guy said, well, what are you going to do on your 50th? And he said, well, I'm going to go back over and get her and bring her home. <laughs> The other guy standing out there said, uh, this is a good one. I was going to put this on my on a, my little plaque in the woods. The guy says, if a man is in the forest all by himself with no woman around, is he still wrong? And Kay says, yes. <laughs> Did you hear about the, you know, Manhattan Mercury has the greatest headlines last night. I don't know if you heard about it, but the Riley County, they had a, they had a burglary out there and they stole all the toilets out there at the police department and the, uh, the headline was, no leads, police have nothing to go on. <laughs> and I gotta remind you that you take, you're taking special trips up here. I guess some of you went to Yellowstone, that I heard about you. How many of you were on that trip? Wow, there's a couple out there. Well, we went in August and had a great time. And we got your itinerary. You really had quite a, you had a great trip. Now, did you hear about the other trip that's coming up for uh, for the fall? It's an all-expense paid trip for the International Keopecte Festival in Mexico City. <laughs> and your new marketing director promised you'd have a sensational run down there in Mexico. <laughs> I had to throw that one. And I got to tell this one to Doctor Doctor is here again tonight. Uh, Doctor Durkee, you know, has uh, been living up here. Y'all know Doctor Durkee over here in the yellow shirt. And he, you know, he goes to the bar and he likes a special kind of drink. And so last time they had these guest bartenders. You know, I guess you have them every week or something. New people, they come in. And so Doctor Durkee went up and he said, I, he told the bartender, I want an almond daiquiri. And so the bartender said, Oh, almond daiquiri went back and looked around. He couldn't find any almonds, but he found some hickory. So he thought, well, you know, we'll just throw the hickory and he won't know the difference. So he brought the drink over to Dr. Durkee and he said, here's your drink. And Dr. Durkee took a sip and he said, uh, this is not an almond daiquiri, is it? He said, no, it's a hickory daiquiri, doc. <laughs> That's my Dr. Durkee story. I always like to have him here because I can, I can tell him. Okay, let's do a little sing.